Rotational, we're focusing on the user experience of Foodora, a delivery service for any sort of meals. I'll give you a quick background on the company through this video. So why innovate food delivery? Well first, there's a strong demand for food delivery with wait times always growing. Using cars to deliver in larger cities does actually create longer wait times because often there's difficulty for a place to park, we went to condos, they can't leave their car out front while they go into the building, so that was creating a longer wait time. Next, there was a lack of focus on local quality restaurants. Foodora aims just to focus on these different types of cuisine only found in local areas. And finally, there was never a pre-order option to order at a later time in the day or even later in the week. The typical user is a young working person, typically who often has a uh, working in the city. They don't have time to make their own food. Um, they like to explore high quality local dishes and they typically don't have a car to go travel out to try new stuff. So I'll give you a quick video of how this app actually works. So upon opening it, you type in your address at the top there, and you can scroll through an array of different cuisines. So here, I was feeling like a burrito. After a little bit of Mexican, you can click through a couple different options here. You choose your option, and you go to the checkout. And here you have the different tip options and your delivery option. So I chose two days later, a little bit later in the day when I was feeling hungry. And here I took my payment method, and that's all it takes to deliver. So what the user seeks here is receiving food without leaving their home or when they're on the go for coming home to it later. They want to avoid long wait times and they also want to experience as much different cuisine as possible. So design tools to create value here are balance, simplicity, and interaction. Balance, this refers to the colors of the application. They're bright, vivid, and they balance out really well. And there's also various meal options to balance each other out, depending on how you feel, whether it's a heavy burger or a lighter salad. The next is simplicity. It only takes a few clicks to fully customize your order, and it allows you to upload your credit card or Apple Wallet information upon the app download. I was ordering within minutes after downloading the app. And finally is the interaction. You can't physically see the couriers are coming away, obviously. However, there's a real-time GPS tracker, so you can track your food along the way. And then obviously, once they come to your door, you can interact with the courier. So for the design map here, I'll first take you through attention. So they had Foodora Picnic, which is a massive food truck event that generated awareness about Foodora's services. They also pl plastered posters around the subway in Toronto, and they offer $10 vouchers for first-time use. Finally is their pink, pink bike uniforms that are easy to see anywhere around the city. So with their auditory, it was mostly just word of mouth here, and for a factory and gusatory, this is mostly just when you actually see these food truck events or you smell these food truck events. Next into entry, it's free and easy to download. There's a wide array of food choices, different ranges of cost depending on your budget, and there's lots of pictures to check out what the food is going to look like before you order it. Once you're actually immersed and you've actually kind of made that process, you're able to track your delivery and your bike rider using that GPS to see when they're going to arrive. In Kinesthetic, you can order on the go. So when you finish work and you're going to feel hungry another hour, you can set that food time for an hour so it's waiting for you as soon as you get home. Uh, and the conversion here, it was mostly with the auditory, was transaction with your courier, who's usually incredibly friendly. I've used the app twice now, and both times I've had very friendly use, um, couriers. Then, obviously, you have the smell and the taste of the food for your final two senses here. 
and obviously it's been pretty delicious. For extension, they have promotion share codes. So if I share the code with a friend and they download the app, they get $10 and I get $10. So both of us are more inclined to start using this app. It's very good in terms of their user profile and it's been pretty much uh, a lot better than Uber Eats and Skip the Dishes that I've found personally. When we get into the five E's of usability of effectiveness, the food arrives and proper temperature, absolutely no problems there. The second would be efficiency. The food arrived within the designated time that I found. Engagement, the GPS tracker was accurate and allowed me to track the food order all throughout the process. It was easy to learn as previously stated, within minutes I was ordering food. Air tolerance is not great because they use third parties, these bikers, to deliver the food. So should any problems arise, there's not a lot of control Foodora has except for offering refunds or credits, but they do not offer refunds. So here's a couple different things I've seen on the internet about it, was about their failure to actually meet the requirements of the time or even at all. And these are a couple different error processes I think that Foodora needs to uh, get a little more control of. And one final flaw that I did see in the design was ultimately seasonality. Because they have all these bikers and people working, there's going to be reduced staff in the winter. People don't want to get on their bikes and deliver. This is one flaw I could see definitely harming them in the future. That's it for the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it.